Hello, I'm Sean Jones. Welcome to your week in tech. Now this week we're filming from the Digital Shoreditch Festival and the Opportunity Hub, where a huge range of events are bringing the tech community together over the next week. I'm delighted to say I'm joined now by Chris Doffy. Chris Doffy, tell me a little bit about the Hub and why it's so special. The Opportunity Hub is home to Hackney Council's Ways Into Work team. We work with our local business community to provide education, employment and training activities to our local residents. Biopower, the social introducer friend technology firm, raised $3 million in a Series A round as it looks to expand into the US. In the UK, it's already used by Tesco, O2, Sony and L'Oreal. DocuSign, a company best known for its work with secure identity and authentication, has raised $233 million as it looks to fund further growth and expand worldwide. Healthcare appointment booking platform Zesty has raised $7.2 million in a Series A round led by Innovation Capital. Birmingham-based mobile payment startup Droplet closed another round on Crowdcube. Droplet is a fee-free way of taking cashless payments where users just need a smartphone to complete a transaction. It raised 115% of its target, securing almost £600,000, bringing their total investment to £1.4 million. It's one year since the controversial right to be forgotten ruling was introduced by the Court of Justice and the European Union. Now, Google is in talks with regulators over nearly 50 cases it's accused of getting wrong. It's said that it's received more than a quarter of a million requests to remove around 920,000 links, of which 41% have been taken down. Aerial selfie footage at your fingertips is on its way. The first camera drone to fly itself has been launched. The Lily can be thrown into the air and flies immediately, allowing you to take film footage with the same resolution as the GoPro Hero 3. And it also uses GPS to follow you from the air. Finally, Google has been forced to shut off MapMaker due to some rather controversial edits. Most notably, an image of an Android robot urinating on an Apple logo. Now, the company said it had been moderating all user-generated edits to try and prevent such pranks, but simply found it impossible to keep up. This has been Your Week in Tech. Thank you so much for watching. And for more, do check out Tech City News and follow us on Twitter.